Good afternoon, everyone. You've made it halfway through your first day. Are you feeling good? Do I need to make you stand up and like shake around? So, all right, okay. Well, thank you for coming today. My name is Melanie Wax. I am a senior credential developer on Team Trailhead. What does that mean? It means a lot, but basically I own the marketing cloud exams for Team Trailhead. So email specialist, marketing cloud consultant, and our new marketing cloud developer. Anybody email specialist in this crew? We've got a couple of you, great. This applies to everyone in this room, so don't worry, I've got something for everybody. A um, Couple of different ways you can reach me, so if you think of something after this and wanna reach out, you can catch me on Twitter, at Melanie Wax, or email is always good, mwax at salesforce.com. So we have heard we want more marketing cloud in Trailhead. We continue to hear we want more marketing cloud. So we're super excited to bring you this new opportunity and certification, marketing cloud developer. And we will continue to add more marketing cloud in the biggest and best ways. So forward looking statement, I, everybody has this in their presentation. Just a reminder, don't make any purchasing decisions today unless it's on current and available products now with Salesforce. All right, our session goals today. Our session goals are pretty simple. Um, we want to know more about becoming a certified marketing cloud developer. So we'll talk about who that person is. Um, we're also going to talk a little bit about how do I get started. Spoiler alert, Trailhead. It's a great place to get started. And then we want to talk about your path to success. So how you get from learning about marketing cloud to becoming a marketing cloud developer. We'll go through all of that today. The Salesforce economy, I love this slide. I get asked all the time, why should I get certified? What's the value in getting certified with Salesforce? You might be thinking, I'm, you know, I'm great at my job. Why should I do this? Well, there's a reason why we continue to grow and build our programs out within Salesforce, within Trailhead. And that's because um, of the global impact we're having. The global impact is bigger than our technology. And we recognize, um, that this is coming down the pipeway, the global impact, and with our partners and customers, you all, we're gonna be creating millions of jobs over the next few years. According to the IDC, we will add 3.3 million jobs by 2022. That's pretty impressive, right? I don't know if you've seen this information before, but it's very exciting to be a part of that. And that doesn't just mean jobs within Salesforce. That means skilled folks who know the Salesforce platform, who know Marketing Cloud, and we want to be ready for that. Sorry. All right, one more thing I want to add on this slide. It's actually not on this slide. Important to know, if you're thinking about how this relates to the marketing world, if you are a marketer, if you're a marketing manager, marketing cloud developer, digital marketing spend is going to hit $120 billion by 2021. And that's because people like us, we are um, demanding more relevant communications and all from the brands that we buy and that we browse from. Right? So um, there's no better way right now than to drive that marketing value than getting certified through Salesforce and getting your marketing, marketing cloud developer. So who is the marketing cloud developer? Um, the person can wear one hat can wear many hats within an organization. So you might be a marketing director, you might be a manager, you might be an email specialist, you could be an administrator, a solutions engineer, you could be an implementation consultant, a marketing cloud designer. So maybe you're just designing emails right now, that's great. Um, the email developer and then even campaign managers. So the marketing cloud developer, again, there's not one size fits all here, but we'll talk about the skills and the abilities um, and the knowledge that's necessary to get you to the certified place. So marketing cloud developer, I'm gonna read a little bit here. Um, this comes out of our test description that we developed internally. Um, but I think it's really important to share with an audience to tell you who this exam is designed for. It's designed for those folks who have the skills and experience to configure and customize data for Marketing Cloud. Candidates are knowledgeable in subscriber management across channels and have the ability to troubleshoot various programmatic languages that guide the design of both tactical and strategic email campaigns. 
So our certified marketing cloud developers have experience as full stack developers for marketing cloud. We will break that down a little bit, a little bit easier to read, but I think that's important to share. This is who this exam is designed for. A special note on this slide, the prerequisite for this exam is the marketing cloud email specialist. We think it's very important to have that foundational knowledge in marketing cloud, know the ins and outs of it, before we can say, yes, you're a certified marketing cloud developer. Another one of my favorite slides, we get asked all the time, well, what do I have to know? I only do this part in Marketing Cloud. Is everything relevant to me? So I tried to break this down into what you absolutely need to know and what you don't need to know. That's almost more important, right? What do I not need to know? What do I not need to study or skill up on? So our Marketing Cloud developer, we're looking that you have HTML skills, JavaScript, um, server-side JavaScript, AMP script, uh, API development, cloud pages is important, and an understanding of GDPR. I don't think you can work in the marketing world without having a good understanding of GDPR, so we do test on that. Um, we're looking for folks who are developing in all editions of Marketing Cloud, so not one specific edition. And then this person should also be very knowledgeable in where to find Marketing Cloud documentation, where to find our developer guides online. So not just be able to do the job, but also to troubleshoot and find solutions. Um, what you are not expected to know to succeed on this exam, this exam does not test Mobile Push SDK. It does not test Content Builder SDK, Journey Builder SDK, custom components of any kind. Um, it does not cover configuring Marketing Cloud Connect. There is a section of Marketing Cloud Connect on our consultant exam for Marketing Cloud. That is not a component of this exam. And then you will not be tested on integrations with third-party platforms. So looks similar a little bit. I've, I kind of broke that down even more here. But some themes you're going to see on this exam. You do need to know how to configure and set up data models. Data modeling is a section on the exam. Configure data import. Work with customer and platform data. Know your scripting languages. AMP script, SSJS. Build out the Marketing Cloud web experience. So data forms, custom preference pages, you should have an understanding of those. Uh, no cross-channel subscription management as well. And then there is an entire section on API. So um, work through and know how to resolve scenarios using SOAP and REST API. So what does the exam look at, look like? Anybody certified? I know I asked about email specialists, but just any of you have a Salesforce certification? Awesome. OK. So the exam format is very similar to any other exam you'll find out on Web Assessor. If you've taken one, it's a 60-question exam, multiple choice, multiple select. You won't get asked any true, false. You don't have to write an essay of any sort. It's pretty straightforward. You will have 105 minutes to complete this exam. Um, the passing score for this, always important to know, 63%. When you take an exam with Salesforce and you finish your exam, you'll click Submit. As soon as you click Submit, you will receive your pass-fail status. So with your pass-fail status, you will also receive section-level feedback. And what that means is every section that's on the exam, this particular exam has five sections, you will be told the percentage that you, the percentage of correct answers you got out of the 60. So you might see that you got 100% in one section, maybe 60% in another. But the idea there is if you don't pass through the first time, it's OK. I don't call it failing. I call it learning. Um, but if you don't, then you'll know what areas to really focus on and hone in and study for the exam for the next time you sit, and you'll pass, OK? Um, Prerequisites, again, I mentioned email specialist is the prerequisite for this. But we also are saying that our Marketing Cloud developer should have at least one year experiencing developing for Marketing Cloud and associated tools. And that's really just a gauge to say, if you've done this for at least a year, you should be successful on this exam. It's not a requirement. It's just heavily recommended. All right, the journey. What is our path to becoming a marketing cloud developer? Who has heard about the Trailblazer community today at all? 
Okay, yay! All right, well, you're gonna hear me say it on at least three slides, and I apologize, but I love it so much, and I think it's so valuable. I will continue to talk about it. Um, if you haven't already joined the Trailblazer community, you can find it, success.salesforce.com. This is a community of folks who love Salesforce, customers, partners who en are engaged in the product, troubleshooting together, mentoring one another, encouraging one another, and there's even a certified pros group in our community. So you could reach out and say, hey, I'm thinking about getting Marketing Cloud Developer. How did you best skill up to get that, to achieve that? Um, where should I start? How should I study? What worked for you? What didn't work for you? I highly encourage you to start with the community. From there, if you don't have your Marketing Cloud email specialist certification, that's the place to start. This is what I call an end user certification. So somebody who is in Marketing Cloud day to day and really has a strong foundation in Marketing Cloud as a product. Earn badges. I can't be on Team Trailhead and not talk about earning badges. Get a Trailhead account if you don't want, have one yet, trailhead.com, and earn some badges. We just recently launched with product marketing an awesome developer trail, marketing cloud developer trail on Trailhead. If you don't know about Trailhead, this is free online learning for you. I think the first three modules we have for this trail, and it will continue to build out over time, we have Contact Builder included in that, AMP Script in that, and I believe some information on AP environment for Marketing Cloud. We're very, very excited about that. Um, prepare and study. And I can't say this enough. You may have been developing in Marketing Cloud for 10 years, and that's incredible. But when you sit an exam, you're going to be asked questions that maybe you've never dealt with in your career. So be sure to find our exam guide. I've given you the website up here, trailhead.salesforce.com, backslash credentials, backslash Marketing Cloud Developer. If you can't remember any of this, just go to trailhead.com credentials and you will find it, I promise. Okay, so prepare and study. Go through the exam guide. Go through the weightings on the exam. Go through the objectives so you have a clear idea what you will be tested on. And then get certified. So once you feel like you've built up that learning and you have your email specialist certification, you've taken the trails, study up and go get certified. The best way to find out more about that is, again, on our website. And you can register for the exam directly from trailhead.com. Oh, I went back. Sorry about that. If that's the worst thing that happens today. OK, I'm going to continue to kind of harp on this learning opportunities. There are several learning on opportunities within Trailhead. I don't think anything tops having that hands-on experience. So ask if you've never worked in Marketing Cloud, ask somebody to mentor you. I highly encourage that so you kind of get a, a real world feel of what it's like to develop for Marketing Cloud. Again, Trailhead trails, modules. Um, on Trailhead, we have an official trail mix to prepare for your email specialist certification. If you are brand new to Marketing Cloud, go there first. So you'll go to email specialists from credentials and click on that study and prep area, and there's a trail mix built just for you. It is not just trailhead modules there. There are links out to additional references, like blogs, white papers, book references, anything that was used to help write the exam, you're going to find it in that trail mix. So you may find other trail mixes on trailhead built by other people, but the official trail mixes built by our team will be found on the website. You can just link straight out to it. And then we also have Trailhead Academy. Um, we have instructor-led courses. You can do that in the classroom or in a virtual environment as well. Um, for Marketing Cloud specifically, we have what's called Email Essentials. I would highly recommend that if you're new to Marketing Cloud, wanting to change your career and move into Marketing Cloud. Uh, I believe that's a four-day course. If you're just looking about, if you build content, specifically just content Marketing Cloud, we have a content builder course. We also have a Marketing Cloud Implementation Workshop. We have Journey Builder 101, Marketing Cloud Connect Essentials. So if you're looking at tying your Salesforce platform to Marketing Cloud, that's a great class to take. And we recently launched Marketing Cloud Consultant Preparation as a course. So if that's 
an exam that you're looking at, certification you're, you're vying for, that is a great one-day prep course that is specifically aligned to the objectives in the exam and covers all of the content that you'll expect to see there. So you go through everything that I've taught you today and told you, you get certified, now what? Is that the end of the end? No, of course not. So you want to update your LinkedIn profile, very important. Um, when you pass your exam, you will be emailed our certified logos. So attach that to everything. Put it on Twitter, um, LinkedIn, add it to your digital signature. Wherever you want to slap it, we highly encourage you to do that. It just simply adds value to your skill set. Um, get involved. So Trailblazer community, has she said this before a million times? Yes. Get on, into the Trailblazer community, join that certified pros group, and give back. Um, you can also become what we call a subject, subject matter expert for the credentialing team. I work with a great group of SMEs who help uh, review exams during release cycle, keep, up to, keep the exams up to date, write new exam questions, develop new exams. So I don't do that all by myself. I do it with certified experts like you guys. Um, and I couldn't do my job without people like you. And then I've, I've said this before, but give back. Mentor a colleague. So if a colleague is interested in certification, talk about it. Take them to the site. Tell them to sign up for Trailhead and start earning badges and work their way to certification. It's also important once you get certified to not lose that. So we want you to stay relevant. Um, maintaining your certification is easier now than ever. We have now moved maintenance onto Trailhead. It is free. This is. I think this has happened in the last year and a half or so. Um, so maintain your certification. For Marketing Cloud specifically, the developer exam is maintained with email specialists, just like Marketing Cloud Consultant is. It's one time a year exam. And by exam, I mean five to 10 questions that cover release over the last year within Marketing Cloud. And it's a fun badge to earn. It's really just a badge. You're walking through um, a module in Trailhead. And then from there, of course, we ask that you decide what you're going to get certified in next. We want to continue to see you and encourage you and enable you to do that. Looks like I am almost at time. I didn't know I would take that long. Um, again, my name is Melanie Wax. If you have any questions, think of anything, just find me after this. Um, I am actually, if you missed any of this presentation, delivering it again in the Trailhead Theater at 4.15, 4.30, around that time. So I'll be down there as well and probably a little bit easier to access for question and answers. Okay, thank you so much.